What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing out at Robbins Park. I actually have a tournament there at the end of uh, the month, so I'm pretty excited about that. Got a practice round in here for you guys to check out. Super wooded course, um, some pretty fun lines, tight shots, all that kind of stuff. Also, real quick, wanted to remind you guys that for the rest of the month, um, you can use the code MOLT321 um, for a discount at checkout on the Dynamic Disc website. Um, anytime that the month changes, it'll just change to 421 and 521 and all that kind of stuff. So just so you guys know in the future, if you're buying stuff from DD, you can use that. Also, if you guys want to support me in another way, I do have a Patreon link down below. Um, I do a disc giveaway each month um, over there. So yeah, all right, now let's get into it. So I just played a, a round with my buddy right before this. That was my first time ever playing out here. One thing I noticed is there's a lot of out of bounds. Um, so the goal is to stay in bounds. Uh, obviously and so that means I get a par instead of a birdie that's what I'm gonna do hole one here just gonna throw this opto keystone straight as straight as I can it's actually kind of windy out here so this will hold up better than the uh, than the other ones I have so there's a hill on the back side there's a hill on the back side that rolls down to OB. So again, like I said, my goal, I would rather get a par than get a bogey going for going for the birdie or whatever. Um, so I want to ideally land on this flat part um, and just end up in a good spot uh, to maybe even lay up. <laughs> but as per usual, guys, thank you so much for hanging out and watching my videos. I know there's a lot of tournament coverage and stuff. I always say this um, just because it's true. Like, I watch a lot of that stuff, and their production level is obviously far better than mine is. Um, but I'm just happy you guys are still chilling, hanging out, watching my videos and everything. Looks like we got a, a look at Birdie here. So we'll see if we can make this. Yeah. That's a good Birdie. Uh, I'm gonna throw the EMAC truth here. It says it's 330 feet. You can't see the basket, but there is a pole standing up from the top of it. Yeah, don't die down too hard. Nice, I should be parked. All right, so I took a little bit too much off of it. Um, I am not going for this putt because there's a drop off and a big roll away opportunity there. So I'm just going to play safe here, especially after that birdie on one, and just lay up like that. As you guys can see, there's a pretty big opportunity where if you miss this, you're rolling pretty far. So that is why I will take my par and be happy with it. All right, so another hole that has a lot of out of bounds, especially on the left side, 321 feet, just going to throw my cell in here. Um, straight and a little higher so that when it runs out of speed it dives down right towards the basket. Yeah, that's money. That should be parked. So there's this little fence in the fairway that if you make it over in the air, you're pretty much good. As you can see, we settled up real nicely here uh, for the birdie. <clears throat> so this hole is super tight there's two paths which are both pretty narrow um but down to the left is out of bounds so i'm gonna take my justice trying to hit this gap and just have it end up on the right side down there um so that i don't have to worry about the uh the ob on the left no uh. Yeah, sit down. I didn't, oh, it rolled a little bit. Dang it, dude. So on that first shot on the tee, um, I'm just, just letting you guys know like where my mind goes. I wanted to scoot to the top right corner of the tee box and throw flat-footed. Um, but I knew that would block the camera angle. And so I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna block the camera angle. Um, and so by doing that, I hit that tree on the left. Um, but I actually did it after filming and 
through the same justice. So it's right here and there's the basket. So just for me to know in the tournament, if I do that, I'll be in a better spot is good. Uh, this is a long putt for, uh, for par here though. you learn i gotta start putting my game before you guys unbelievable all right so it's a pretty dumb bogey um but i at least know my game plan for the tournament to come up to the front of the tee box and throw my justice from there to kind of get a better angle all right so super narrow gap that you have to hit right here it's about maybe six feet um i do not trust myself to hit that backhand so I'm going to take my trusty old stag here and uh, sidearm this bad boy. Oh my God, please get over the river. Okay. All right, I got over the out of bounds. All right, it's pretty easy approach here. Should be a par. All right, another super tight drive here, but it opens up. Um, there is OB out there, so our goal is to get up over that high enough, um, and hopefully get a look at the basket. Then throw the fell in here. That might go in. Are you joking? Oh, that was online. All right, throwing the more overstable felon on this one. Basket's down to the right. Oh, that's too straight, dude. Give me a good skip. Uh, okay, that's putting at least. Justice is parked. Look at the justice, guys. I'll probably throw that in the tournament. Let's go. That putting was really awkward. I was standing on a weird bump in the ground. It made me uneven, but that's a good birdie. So I played with my buddy uh, right before this, and I hit the basket with this truth. So we're going to see if we can do that again here. That's still a look at a birdie. Good birdie. All right, so this is a pretty hard dog leg left. I'm gonna throw this glimmer verdict because it has a little bit more glide. Um, and just try and get it up and have it glide down towards the basket. All right, so that landed on a pretty sharp angle. Hopefully it didn't flip up and roll down the hill. So this is a pretty tough hole to get next to the basket. I think I need to release it a little bit straighter um, and then let the disc do what it's gonna do right around here. Um, so let's put it on a pretty big hyzer and we're, we're still pretty far out. Ah. 
There it is. No, nope. perfect line, just no more power. All right, that'll be a par. All right, guys, I hope that y'all really enjoyed that front nine. We are three down at this point. I got four birdies there, um, and then obviously that bogey uh, that brought us back just a little bit. So right now we're three down, which isn't too bad for playing the course for the first time. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm excited for the tournament. I'll definitely let you guys know how it is. The back nine will be up soon as well, so make sure you guys go check that out. Thanks for your support as per usual. See you guys in the next one.